<laughs> I almost fall down. Oh, dummy. I'm such a dummy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Aida. So I have another haul for you guys and guess what? It includes clothing. Yes, Aida finally went shopping. I regularly go shopping because I have a lot of clothes and I only buy clothes when I need new things or when I feel the urge to have new things. And luckily for me, I don't feel the urge that often. The first item I'm actually wearing and it's this kind of sweater t-shirt. It has a little pocket here. When I saw it, I really, really liked it because it's kind of like oversized and it has like cuts on the sides. It's a little bit on the longer side. Since I liked it that much, I also got it in cream because when I like something a lot, I actually get all the colors that I like and this is the other color that I got. Actually, all the items that I'm going to mention are from Zara. I didn't go somewhere else beside of there. I don't know, like, Zara, sometimes I find a lot of things and sometimes I just find nothing. And this time I got lucky. I got lucky. So the next top that I got is this one, which is from Kiss. Well, it's not from Kiss, it's also from Zara, but the band Kiss is on it. It's like a band themed um, shirt. And on the back it looks like this, so there's like the playlist of one of their albums. And on top of here it says KISS. And I'm a big fan of KISS, I really like their music and I think they're awesome. To pair with my um, KISS shirt I got this... What are these called? To crock top? Crock, crock, top crock, like crock top? Crock top? Is that a name? I'm not sure anymore. But anyways, I got this top. Uh, which feels like leather. I washed it and it's perfectly fine with 30 degrees and I got the size S because M was way too big for me. Uh, I literally swam, it, swam in it and on the back it has like this really stretchy material and I thought it would be perfect for underneath a shirt that shows a little bit more. So I also got a pair of pants and these are um, what are these? I have no idea. These are baggy pants. <laughs> I have no idea what the jeans are all called. So these are kind of like more on the larger side. I actually posted a picture on Instagram and these were the pants that I was wearing and I was actually uh, I was actually not sure if I should have gotten this size or if I should have gotten a size bigger than this one because um, these were just right on the top, like up here they were just right and the other they were a little bit larger and they felt a little bit more comfortable but um, on the sides they were way too large and it kind of looked a little bit weird. The last item that I got in Zara is a basic t-shirt, a black, it should be black but it looks like grey, it looks like anthracite. This material feels good. That's why I got it, because I wear a lot of these basic t-shirts. These are just like my basic shirts to wear underneath um, kind of like jackets or whatsoever. I did a little bit of shopping damage in Kiko and in Douglas. Douglas is also like a beauty store here in Switzerland. It's comparable to Sephora. It's similar, but it doesn't have all the brands that Sephora carries. It, it has like other brands. And in Douglas, I purchased brushes from Zoeva. Zoeva is a German brand, beauty brand, and their brushes are really good. And I got these buffer brushes, uh, which have like a really round head. I started to apply my foundation with brushes again. Imagine that I did use a brush for today's makeup, like for today's foundation, and imagine that I'm I'm back to my basic brushes again. I've used to have like probably for years now I've been using beauty blenders because they work so well. But the other day I was like, hey, why not use a brush again? And I did use a buffer brush and they worked so well. No, actually it's not a buffer br brush. I used a kabuki brush for my foundation today. So, but anyways, I did purchase these three brushes here. And one of them is the 
2 Silk Finish Foundation Brush, which is the biggest one. Then I got the 142 Concealer Buffer. And the last one that I got is the 110 Face Shape. And oh my gosh, I think I have this already. And this is the one that uh, convinced me to buy the other ones as well because this concealer buffer, I know it's a face shape. This, well, anyways, like this buffer is awesome. I use it to uh, for my contour, like my cream contour, to blend it out. And it works so well. Oh my gosh, even on my nose, it works so, so well. So that's why I, I had to get them all free because they're so good. If you apply cream products like a contouring or highlight or even concealer, try to use a buffer because they work so well. Is that actually the name? I actually also picked up a beauty blender, but then the lady in the store was like, oh wait a second, she went back to somewhere and took this one. And she said, this is our own brand and it works as perfectly well as a beauty blender, just that it's less expensive, it's probably like half the price. And so I was like, okay, I give it a try, because why not? I mean, like, if it's as good as the Beauty Blender, I am not complaining. And this is a little bit different than the Beauty Blender in the shape, because this has, like, a pointed shape, while the Beauty Blender doesn't go as pointy. It's, like, kind of, like, ar rounded somehow. You know what I mean? My skin recently has been very, very, very dry. I'm lacking hydration in my skincare routine. That's why I decided to go and talk to the lady. And she recommended me this product here, which is the Artemis Skin Balance Mattifying 24 Hour Gel Cream. Artemis is a Swiss brand. I have never tried their products before. They have an entire line of skin balance. So if this works for me, I might get the other products as well. Um, as a gift, I received this little pouch and this super tiny little mascara. Oh, guys, look at this. This is from their brand Douglas. It's a five-in-one voluminizing mascara. And it's like the tiniest mascara that I've ever had. Like, look at how cute this is. So cute. I always go to Kiko Milano. It's hopeless. I am hopeless. <laughs> Anyways. They, they didn't have many sales going on because, I mean, like, sale time is over. It's actually a quite a decent amount of products. Usually when I go to Kiko Milano, I, I basically buy everything that I see. But this time I was very, very conservative and I was like, eh, I just pick up things that I really need. I was about to say that I might need. It's not really I really need because I already have so many products. But anyways. Forget it. Uh, I got other lip pencil from Kiko Milano. I am obsessed with lip pencils. I probably have these shades already, but these were still on sale, so I was like, I'm gonna take them because they're anyways, I'm anyways going to use them, so whatever. And then I also got uh, one of their Valentine's line product, which is a soft lip palm Stilo Rouge Allevra, what am I reading, the, the French? I did a Kiko Milano haul in Italian, if you want to see what I purchased, go, I leave the link somewhere up here, so you might can check it out. And uh, I did bought a lipstick from the Valentine's line, but that was all, I didn't get more than that. And this is like the second item that I got, and it's the soft lip pen. The packaging for the Valentine's line was so adorable. It was wrapped inside of this little paper here and yeah, so cute. So this is a very interesting item. This has a, light, a tiny little sponge. Is the product in here? Oh yeah, the product is here. And this is the little sponge and you probably apply the product on your lips. I don't know, like I've never tried something as similar as that for the lips. I have something similar for my brows. Almost the same. <laughs> Not really. We got the Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush. Oh my gosh guys, I am obsessed with these products. I'm not even sure if I picked up the same shade that I already have. So this is a blush, a cream blush, and it's in the shade number 08. It's a very beautiful shade. It's kind of like a maroon purplish shade. 
and as a blush I think it's very pretty for a blush when you wear like dark lipsticks it goes so well so yeah what is this shape and shimmer eyebrow and highlighter pencil oh this was on sale as well and I already have one of these and I really like them because they're really nice so I just picked them up Again, I don't really use the highlighter though, but I use the um, shaper for the brows to fill them in and this makes my brows look very natural so I like it. Although this is for like light brows and I don't really have light hair anymore so I don't need to have light brows anymore but well, whatever. Maybe, maybe I go back to blonde. Velvet Touch Cream Stick Blush again. A very beautiful peachy pink color and yep. Oh 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 no no please don't. Is this broken? No, this is broken. I hate this. Got a broken one. No, I really hate this. Oh well. It will work somehow. It will. What is the last product? Oh yeah, the last product is the most important one. It's a mascara. I finally got a mascara from Kiko Mia. No, that's not true. I already have one. So it took me so long to get another one because the first mascara that I got from Kiko Milano was such a big disappointment. And the lady in the store, she was talking so big about it. And I tried it and I was just like, I hate this stuff just that it has a really special little brush but elsewise no volume no whatsoever and i was like i hate this stuff so um yesterday no it wasn't yesterday like the other day when i went to kiko milano there was a really nice girl that is always there this is the volume eyes plus active mascara and she told me that this is the best mascara that they have for volume and this is how the brush looks like. It looks like a it looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. See you all next time. Thumbs up this video. For all those that are new, click down below on the right button. And for all those that are already subscribed, thank you so much for watching yet again and be a part of this awesome family. Being being a part of this awesome family. And I don't know. I really don't know. What is there else to say? I don't think there's anything to say. Well, see you next week. The camera is so far behind. What, 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 what? what was that? I don't know. I hope my head is not cut off. That would suck so much I would need to film this again. I don't want to. Alrighty, this was all for this haul video. I hope you like watching it and if you're not subscribed to this channel, then click down below on that red button and be a part of this awesome family and...